Are you playing deaf? Eh? Playing deaf. Good boy. Good boy. Well, if you're anything like me, no, I'll rephrase that because no one could be that unlucky. If you think like me and you have a Pocket 3, you think because of the the one-inch sensor and the really good low light video that it'd be really good for taking star lapses or night lapses with the Aurora Borealis. And that's not the case. Normal video, it, it does pick up the Aurora Borealis and that, but it's really grainy. So I tried doing a, a standard time lapse with manual settings and Unfortunately, it only has a one inch duration shutter speed. You'd think they would give us more. Give us more, DJI. Give us more. We want eight seconds like they had on the Pocket 2 at least, and probably 30 seconds is better. But what if I told you there's a hack and you can actually get longer exposures? Good boy. 15. 15 and still going, aren't you, hey? 15. Blind, deaf, and still mad for it. We'll still walk 10k if you if you ask him to. We have a saying in this part of the world that no matter how well you prepare for an event or happening, or how often you prepare for an event or happening, the one time that you don't prepare bad things will happen. It's called Sod's Law, not to be confused with Murphy's Law, which states that if something can go wrong, it will go wrong, and it will go wrong at the worst possible time. Similar, I guess. So, when you get a red alert for Auroras at 57.4 north, and you're heading down south to the light pollution capital country of the world it's so slow because you're not going to be able to see it or so I thought <laughs> you, know, you can do it there's a big puddle on it I was trying to get out <laughs> where's she going eh where's she going where's mum Go find mum. Where's mum? Go find her. Where is she? <coughs> so we went to Ayrshire for my mum and dad's 60th and the weather was shite for that. And then we went to T-Bay overnight to break the journey up down to Wales and the weather was shite for that. And we got to Wales and the weather was shite for most of that. Couldn't even get my drone up until the very last day. Anyways, we were driving home and we stopped off at a pals at Kendall and the alert went again and I put the camera out in the garden for a few hours and this is the settings I used and in a few minutes you'll see the display that I got on the, the Pocket 3 so it is possible to film the Aurora Borealis and star lapses on the Osmo Pocket 3 using this hack I hope it works for you. Get the geese off. RIP Mr. Wright. So we've got the Pocket 3 here. And if we set it up as we would for looking at the Aurora Bat Borealis, then you would go to, you would imagine, Time lapse, and then we would select up at the bottom time lapse custom set to now. We want an interval of 30 seconds duration, three or five hours. Five, five hours will give us a 20 second total mo uh, movie time, total time lapse time. For five hours which isn't great but if you're using long exposures then that's the the cross you've got to bear okay here comes the important stuff I use a 
a white balance of 4,000. It doesn't really matter. You can be anywhere between, uh, well, whatever you prefer. The, the higher you go, the warmer it is. But they recommend between 3,200 and 4,200 or so. Um, format video, because I can't be asked doing uh, editing on photos. No one's got time for that. Focus, single, continuous, doesn't really matter. As long as you've got your stars or whatever in in uh, focus. All right, the exposure, auto. If you select a low ISO, so select as low as you can. 50 to 100 is what I select. And you leave the exposure in auto. That is the important bit. If you put it into manual, yeah, you can get it down to one second. Put it in auto. And then just leave that. So, auto exposure. Low ISO confirm. Time lapse, custom. Interval. The important bit is the interval. Make sure you've got 30 seconds. 25 seconds if you want, but you'll just get... Um, shorter duration of your photographs okay that is your settings now you'll see here at the moment we've got a shutter speed of 1 over 40 if I put something dark over the lens like this that. There you go, 15, 25 seconds. That is the shutter speed. You're cheating it. No. <coughs> Oi. Silence. Yeah, no. <laughs> Put it into manual. And if it's in manual, the longest shutter speed you can get is one second. Doesn't matter what your ISO is, the longest you'll get is one second. But put it into auto with a low ISO, you can get a much longer shutter speed, up to 30 seconds. Okay, but just make sure your exposure value is at zero. Don't do like I did when I did a camp recently where I thought I was going to get some classic footage of a motion lapse of the Northern Lights and my exposure value was set to minus three stops and it, I'll show you it, but it wasn't great and it should have been awesome Alright, I hope this helps you out Do that likey, subscribey thing if it does I'm not a tech channel, but when people ask me questions I like to help them out not that I'm an expert or anything, but you can, yeah, all that bollocks. about this place it's got a beautiful north facing aspect overlooking Elgin so in a strong aurora day I think this might make a really good place to film them noted for the next time